let's put this in. All right. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to Brewing with Bobby and Minka. As usual, Tuesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. As always, with me is the mighty little Miss Minka here. She's rocking her uh, her pink coat today because it's a little chilly and rainy. Um, all right. So per last week's request, today we're doing a handful of um, hojicha and uh, matcha-based drinks. Um, I, I love messing with hojicha. It's one of our favorite ingredients to play with, um, and we'll get into that in a second. Wanted to give some updates uh, as we go today, and as people sign on, we'll, we'll jump into it. So, uh, our Santa Monica shop is still open and still uh, operating from 8 to 3 every day. I wanted to send some shout outs to our partners who are still open as well Found Coffee, Confidential, Cafe Aficionado, Yang's Kitchen out in Alhambra. If you want phenomenal Chinese food, that's the place to get it. Constellation, um, coffee out in, in, uh, in La Cañada, and then um, Reverend Coffee Bar out in Rolling Hills Estates, and Handy Market out in Burbank is open. Go get some groceries and some of our coffee out there. Um, so I would jump on that. Hi, you want a goodie? Here's a goodie. All right. Um, one other thing I need to mention at the top here is if you would like to support our baristas, we have an online tip jar. Um, the link, uh, the QR code is in our Instagram pinned to the little thing at the top. Please support them while they're um, hurting like the rest of us, but probably mostly them. Uh, support your local baristas until we're back up and running and you can support them in person. And lastly, you know, these are the last few episodes we've done here. People have been sending in ideas. That's been super helpful for me to figure out what I'm going to talk about on Tuesdays and Fridays. So if you have ideas, you want to see us do something, definitely send that our way. And we will definitely make drinks up uh, as we go here. Um, or if you want like a brew guide or, you know, how to make, you know, like I said, someone wanted us to do AeroPress Espresso, which we're going to actually use today. We did that a couple episodes ago. So, um, all right, so let's get to it. Uh, so like I said, we're doing three drinks today, uh, one matcha and two hojicha. All hojicha is, is a roasted matcha and, um, it's just a little bit richer. It has some of those deeper notes that I like. Matcha is very um, grassy and has a lot of brighter notes to it. And just for my money, I just like those dark, rich notes that you bring out in a roasted anything, whether it's roasted coffee, uh, roasted beef, or um, roasted matcha, as it were. So we're gonna get a little creative today and mess with some some fun things today. Uh, so why don't we get started? The first drink is gonna be a warm drink. We don't do a lot of those because I don't have any way of steaming anything. But I'm gonna take six ounces of milk and, and warm it up in a microwave. All right, while that's heating up, we're gonna use a protein shaker. Work with what you have at home, right? So we're gonna take our protein shaker and we're gonna put two teaspoons of matcha powder in here. Also going to take two ounces of that lemon syrup we made a few episodes ago. I still have some, so I'm going to use that today. I like the idea of using lemon and matcha together. They're both very fresh, very grassy. They have a lot of bright notes to them. So I think those those flavors work really nicely together. So And if you want to know how to make lemon syrup, it's super easy. Just, just um, you know, we have the recipe on our blog, but you're just going to shave some, you're going to use a, uh, like a microplane and just shave a bunch of lemon into uh, whatever you have, a cup, a bowl, hit it with hot water, steep it for about five minutes, and then um, pour it over some sugar and strain out the lemon uh, rind. Okay. So we got our lemon syrup, our matcha, we're gonna pour the hot milk in here. Just like you're making a protein shake. Let's 
seal it up. We're gonna shake this up to get it a little frothy. And the cup. All right, rocking my coffee coffee snob mug. And you get a little bit of froth out of this, which is super cool. Hi. So you can see here, it's actually pretty frothy. Um, and then what I like to do on the end of this is get some fennel powder. Again, we're working with lemon, matcha, and fennel. Those flavors all really work nicely together. And just a little dusting on top for the aromatics. Nothing crazy. And there you have it. A matcha-based drink with fennel, uh, lemon syrup. That is really, really good. And you can mess with the sweetness. Maybe you want it sweeter, use a little bit more lemon syrup. Uh, maybe you want it less grassy, use a little bit less matcha. Um, but this is quite tasty and the fennel gives it a nice aromatic kick to it. I would even if you had like some kind of like, um, I don't need floral extracts that would be nice in here as well. All right, so that's the first one. The second one is gonna be a hojicha based drink using coffee. So we're gonna do um, well, this is going to be fun. This is this one's a little more complicated. I'm going to switch out scales here. All right, so you're going to get your AeroPress ready. We're not quite there yet. We're going to take multiple scales. All right, so we're going to take our hojicha powder. Um, and if anybody wants to buy these little baggies, I can probably sort that out. So just shoot me a message. But um, we use the Sujimoto tea brand, but you can get anything on Amazon. Um, Oh God, it smells so good. Uh, all right, so we're gonna take three tablespoons of hojicha powder. Okay. We're gonna add three tablespoons of demerara sugar. Demerara, but use whatever sugar you have. Again, I just like like dark, like I said, obviously I like dark stuff. Um, but the Demerara sugar is a little bit more uh, rich, I would say, than, than your white sugar. But if you have white sugar, use white sugar. If you have honey powder, use honey powder. Use what you got. Here's where it starts to get a little weird. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of peanut butter powder. If you just have like peanut butter or almond butter, whatever you have, use it. I just like the powder stuff as a mix as well. The peanut butter powder is just, uh, it's just tasty. I like it. All right. Now we're gonna AeroPress some coffee. So if you go back a couple episodes, I've talked about AeroPress espresso, so we're gonna make a shot of espresso here. All right. I'm gonna use a little bit more than what I recommended last time, just because I need a little bit more volume. So before, we use about 40 to 50 grams of hot water. Today we're gonna to use about 100, uh, about 60 grams of hot water for 20 grams of coffee. Let's get it going. Stir vigorously. And I am using the fellow AeroPress attachment for this because I. I think it gets you the closest you're gonna to get to a real espresso shot using an AeroPress without having to spend like a fortune of money. Hey, Lisa, how's it going? Um, all right, so we're just gonna let this steep for about a minute and then we're gonna press it out. And then we're going to add some ice to this thing. Hi, I see you, I know, life is hard. You want another treat? Here's a treat. I do have the most spoiled dog on earth, 100%. Um, all right, so we're about at a minute here. We're gonna press this out. All right, espresso. Pour that in there. And then we're just gonna stir this all up. So you get some, some rich nuttiness from the peanut butter. The hojicha is just phenomenal. 
and then the demerara for some sweetness but without overkilling the sweetness and you kind of get these three flavors together and, and i don't know i was messing around with this yesterday and the peanut butter really took it to that next level that i like again use what you have at home if you have almond butter or cashew milk or whatever else that you have just mess with this you can do lots of fun things but the hojicha is really it's quite strong and it, it'll it's just so good oh man and then I'm just going to add about four ounces of milk. And add some ice to it. And you're good to go. So this is going to be, this is like the opposite of the last one. The last one was like lemon and matcha and fennel. This is peanut butter and hojicha and demerara sugar. So you have all these really rich dark notes to this. So if you want something a little bit heavier, a little bit with more some, some body and those sort of rich roasty notes, like this is your drink. I could honestly drink this all day and be totally fine. Oh, this is great. All right. And now's the reward for everyone who's been sitting with us all this time. We're doing a whiskey drink. Uh, this one comes to us from our own resident uh, master barista bartender, Stevie. So Stevie, if you're watching, thank you for this recipe. Um, all right, so we're going to start with this. Two teaspoons of hojicha powder. We're gonna bloom that with about an ounce of hot water. And we're gonna whisk this. Ah, too many tears. And again, if anyone has any questions, fire away. Um, all right. I see you. She needs another treat. You want another treat, little miss? There you go. Where's my whisk? There we go. So you don't have to use a fancy matcha whisk. I just happen to have one here. So I'm just gonna mix it up. All right. So we're gonna take uh, and pour that over ice into, uh, yes, this is roasted green tea. That's exactly what matcha is. Um, keep firing questions, y'all. So we're gonna toss this over ice into a shaker. I stole a shaker from the cafe last week, so I actually have some bartending stuff for a change. I see you, Peanut. All right, then we're gonna add. I don't have a jigger yet, unfortunately, so we're gonna add um, one to two ounces of, of whiskey, however much alcohol you like. I'm gonna drop in about a, uh, an ounce and a half that's just my taste. I'm not much of a drinker though. But you can also, this also works well with um, bourbon or demerara or uh, amaretto as well. So feel free to use whatever you like. Um, I'm running low on amaretto, so I'm gonna use our whiskey. Okay, so we got that. We're gonna use an ounce of honey syrup. And then we're gonna squeeze about an ounce of lemon juice, uh, half, half a lemon, full lemon, whatever you have at home, uh, depending on how much lemon you like. You know how juicy your lemons are. Um, and this is, it's already smelling pretty amazing. Hi, right. you can't have any of this. And that's it, we're gonna shake, shake, shake. Strain over ice. For your honey syrup, how much water and honey? I use a one to one ratio by weight, um, and that's for either uh, like liquid honey or honey powder, which is what I had laying around the house. Um, but yeah, by weight, one to one works really nicely. Um, and there you have it. This is um, this is kind of the best of both worlds, in my opinion. You get 
the richness of the hojicha uh, cut with a lot of the, the citrus and um, the brightness of honey and the lemons, but also, you know, the richness of bourbon and hojicha all at once. This is really, really good. I don't drink a lot. This is absolutely delicious. <clears throat> it's sweet, it's sour, it's rich. It's kind of got, hits all your flavor profiles in one place, which is pretty phenomenal. This is why Stevie's a genius. This is all her, so thank you, Stevie, again. Um, that's really good. Uh, and hey, it's locked down. It's never too early to start drinking, right? So I would definitely um, try this at home. Please tag us if you do make any of these drinks at home. We love hearing from people and, and hey, I tried it, it was great. Or what were you thinking? Peanut butter and hojicha is disgusting. Definitely just let us know what you think. And if you do try it, post it. Um, we're all about community here and, and interacting with people. Um, and we're trying to do fun collaborations with people, whether it's SketchUp meetup parties or we did a thing with the Gilded Bellini on, on Sunday. We hosted a brunch with her. Um, so if there's you know someone you want us to collaborate with, shoot it our way. Um, if you know if there are any bored chefs at home and you want to do like how to use coffee and food, definitely shoot me an email. We'll we'll do something with that. You can send me some recipes I can make at home, or we can send you coffee. Uh, we're open to everything. Um, so that is it for today. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Again, um, Hoji Chen Matcha drinks. We'll post all this online. And as a reminder, we're doing uh, the coupon code for our online today for coffee beans is lockdown, and you're gonna get 18% off because this is the 18th day of quarantine for all of us so feels like it's been uh forever but uh it's only been 18 days which kind of makes kind of makes like things crazy we still let's definitely plan something soon um so again enjoy cheers everyone it's uh, a little after 10 and i'm already drinking so i hope your day is gonna go as well as mine um tune in again on friday and uh if anyone has an idea of what they want us to do on friday fire that my way otherwise we're gonna end up making coffee drinks with soylent because that's basically what we're, up to, what we're down to these days, aren't we, huh? So from all of us here, please be safe. Uh, please stay healthy. Um, and from me, Aminka, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you guys soon.